a mud skipper, a fish that spends most of its life out of the sea. It can walk on land and breathe air. Its life is very different from that of most fish. A fish out of water, maybe, but they thrive here in Japan. So what's made this upheaval worthwhile? The answer lies in the mud. As the tide retreats, it exposes mud flats. Sunlight hits the rich silt and tiny plants and animals flourish there. All food for a mudskipper. But life on land is not without problems. It's hard work to find a mate. Jumping high above the mud will get you noticed. With eyes perched on the top of their heads, the mudskippers keep a lookout for both friend and foe. And males fight those who intrude on their territory. They must also take care not to dry out in the sun. Rolling in the ooze keeps the skin cool and moist. For this smaller species, a better option is to retreat underground. So he digs himself a tunnel down into the mud. This heap of spoil is an indication of the extent of his excavations. With the tide flooding the tunnel twice a day, maintenance is a real burden. The tunnel is more than a refuge from the sun. It serves another very important purpose. The tunnel is actually U-shaped, and at the far end is a sealed chamber, the walls of which are lined with eggs. The eggs are kept in air, as it's richer in oxygen than the water. The problem is the air that's trapped here won't last for long. So the male travels to the open end of the tunnel to gulp fresh air. Back he goes down his tunnel, where he releases it into the egg chamber, replenishing the oxygen on which the eggs depend. He will repeat this hundreds and hundreds of times until his young hatch. This lifestyle is very demanding, yet the mudskipper has found a way around every problem. The harsh challenges of life in the ocean have encouraged 